Do 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 do. Hello. How's it going? Come here often. They do. They're incredibly eager and excited to 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 move here. This entire mob of critters. Little shitty pygmies and other whatevers. Okay. Good fun. Dirty club, normal club, whatever. What do we have over there? Hornblower. Yes, hornblower. And a whole mob of goat folk. Really? Had to come out there to make your presence known, huh? That was your moment, your time to shine. Your opportunity to be popular and important. How'd that work out for you? I'll take that level 13, thank you. Much obliged. Bloody snakeskin amulet, we'll have that. Let me have an all of that. Let's equip that amulet. Get a little bit of extra dodge. Not too bad, not too bad. Let's drop off these steel battle vines. Drop off that steel vine reaper. Yeah. Bloody. And I do believe we'll be keeping this. Yeah, we'll be keeping that point. I won't spend that on heightened quickness or anything else right now. Because heightened quickness level 7 would lower my toughness, and that would take me off a plus 4 modifier. And that's a no, that's not happening. We'll be grabbing cleave. Whenever we hit opponents with attacks, uh, we will cleave their armor most of the time, giving them penalties to their armor value. And that's good stuff for us. Okay. That is a sower coming my way. We need to move. Lurk here in the shadows. With the electro bow. Ow! Well, there went all that equipment I dropped. Fucker. Demonstration of how dangerous they are. Look at how many hit points I have. From uh, two of those things that went my way, obviously I uh, was not at full HP when I made the charge. But yeah. Just butchered the river, butchered equipment. Reckless disregard for the environment, these damn goat folk. There's another sower down there. It's a fucking shaman too. Yeah. Those are more dangerous. Well, I don't know whether they're more dangerous than the sowers. They're worth more XP though. The game thinks they're more dangerous. I don't think that's true at all, though. <laughs> Couldn't be more dangerous. Hell no. Hi. How's it going? What's with Ome? What, what the haps are? What the haps are? Let's see, armor value 5, and dodge value 14. Do, 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 do. Pick up the carbide, pick up the carbide. We need to spend some time healing. Let's see. Uh, key mapping. Uh, why don't I take rest until healed? Make that control W. We don't need a wish command. Yep, no wish command. No need for the cheats. I'll back off into this uh, prayer area. I'll be followed as I go to find a place to rest. And we'll rest until healed. I'm gonna make that approach on uh, make an approach on a large group. There's the shaman. Shaman alone. Nope. <laughs> shaman ain't alone. Shaman is 100% not alone. Good. Good. Glad we confirmed that.
Hello again, Shaman. Hi, your warden. That sucks. Keep a tree between me and the yurt warden. Hello, Beetlebum. Alright, there's the shaman taken care of. You can see a whole 750 EXP. Beetlebum, I'd prefer if you did not eat my prizes. I'll deal with you in a moment, though. I don't trust those damn beetle bums. Eating all my damn treasure. They would, too. They're like, mmm, delicious. A beetle bum can't trick me. Don't even think about it, Beetle Bum. I know it was. Folded carbide axe? We'll take it. I was wondering where you were hiding. I was like, I'm pretty damn sure I didn't kill you. There we go, now we did. Lacquer chain gauntlets? That means they can't rust. We'll take this carbide stuff. Tin lead slugs. Beautiful. Let's head for that shaman I left down here. Lacquered carbide dagger. Beautiful. Wait. I feel like something's missing here. A little suspicious. Hmm. I'm sure it's fine. Let's not worry about it. Don't even think about it. <laughs> oh. Okay, let's identify this artifact. Ten pounds, huh? Spring-loaded chain boots. Extra move speed? It grants bonus move speed. I don't like losing three dodge, though, to equip them. We get two armor value, which is nice. Two armor, lose three dodge. In addition, we get a little bit of extra movement speed. That's probably worth it. Let's see, armor value 5, dodge value 14. I don't know. I'm not convinced with how I'm playing. Let's uh, unequip that to equip the folded carbide battle axe right there. 1d6 plus 1 damage. And we'll equip the carbide battle axe right here. Beautiful. We got a full arsenal of hell. Yeah, I'll keep those boots off. Hell, I'll probably even drop them. Drop that steel vine reaper, at least. I haven't found the year warden's body, either. I'm definitely missing out on some loot. Very suspicious. I use auto-explore to walk around. Totally trusting that. By the way, that ambience in the background, that beautifully delicious sound, a wonderful contribution to my ears. There we go. Hell is that your word's body? On a damn tree somewhere. Because of course it was. Another battle axe. I'm into it. 1d6 plus 1 damage. We're getting better. These fucking trees. Destroy them out of spite. A wheel and axe doesn't make sense. We'll chop them down. Is that an anger? <laughs> Get the hell out of my way, fucking trees. Had to like five minutes later where I wish I had this cover. As I'm like running away. Ah! <laughs> Trees come back, I'm sorry. There. 
My bark lust has been sated. Hmm. Hmm. Y'all are still down there? That's good. Let's get some cover. Let's see, Electro Bow versus Desert Rifle. I'll take the Electro Bow. I'll fire some shots. Provoke some approaching. Hi! <laughs> Go folks over like hello. I've come to bring you the word. The word is go to hell. Like, oh, that's good. It's a good word. Glad you're using all of your words. That's very important. Little pygmy bastard out there. Having fun. Hello, sower. Please don't hurt me. Novice of the Sightless Way blows itself up, attacking my head. As it should. Bastard should be more careful attacking my brain. Ooh. Good hits. Good hits. Get out of my face. Hi. Okay. Okay. Gotta pick up any more of that stuff? We're so overburdened that just carbide. Picking that up is not good enough anymore. Pick up those sower seeds, then it'll be just enough stuff. We'll chop down a few trees out of spite again. Just letting down my anger. There. You're a warden out there. Here I am about to get into, like, a, a ranged fight with that guy. Hello, Shaman. Hi. I don't really want to be next to you. Nope. We're fine. I was going to do something. I lost my train of thought. Must not be important. Failing to penetrate armor. There we go. Butchered. Solar cell. Quite full, thank you. Oh, can't make a camp because there's hostiles nearby. Overburden myself, picking up this stuff. Electrified carbide longsword. Or move that cell. Uh, let's drop this dagger. Let's drop this bloody stuff. Let's... If I could disassemble, I would. One of the desert rifles, if not both of them. 15 fucking pounds. 142 pounds in melee weapons. That's probably not necessary. Guess we can drop some stuff. Yes. Another damn desert rifle. Good stuff, good stuff. Steel buckler. Go ahead and pick that up. You know, we'll go ahead and equip a shield. Could be of some value. Decreased our dodge value. Marginally increased our armor value. Five. No, it didn't at all. Just gave us like a little shield perk for having that. But I have so many arms that I didn't gain any value, armor value from having the shield equipped at all.
the consequence of having so many damn arms. And the armor value and dodge value just being averaged out over all of them. No shields for me this run, really. Masterwork Grave Club, you say? Neat. Oh, Sheep the First! What a story. Not really sure why the hell I chose to pick up that club. Not like that's going to be amazingly valuable. But I have it, damn it. Diversity. Yes. The Terry Jungle. Do not Terry. Tari. I get it. Just being a jerk. Asinine, really. Come here, you little pygmy shits. Tar encrusted bones. We'll stand out of here in the uh, the wide open where I can be spotted. Or any takers can come approach me. Let's equip the skull cap for now, because it's not dark. Got a giant beetle approaching us. That's not a beetle bump. Those are different. One was definitely hostile. What's that over there? Leather cap. That's it. No big deal. Let's keep rolling. Take that wooden arrow. Oh, water skin. We can always store more liquids. Rude! Come on, this damn map, I was too far. Just reflex, just to whap it. Or try to, and, uh... That's too damn far. I Chief Hermit doesn't have anything I care about stealing. Or, uh, orchestrating the Hermit's demise. I'm a nice guy. Very generous. There we go. Nice to have the cleaving power to uh, chop through the armor of uh, these goat folk. Especially if they're heavily armored. You know, some of them can have, like, carbide full plate walking around. Ugh. Bushid the Fourth? My god. Lost 50 reputation with the Fourth Bushidian Order. Damn Zoldans. <laughs> Poison gas grenade. I saw you. I don't think I didn't. Low gunner. I want to see what's there. Air jerky. That's what that is. Okay. A nice ranged kill. Uh... Hmm. Why don't we drop that club? And drop these battle axes. Yeah, we're already getting folded carbide. It's better. -er 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 -er. 35 skill points. We're not too far from another level. Not enjoy that. Let's see. We're level 13. We'll have to be level 18 to get plus one to all of our attributes again. That would include our agility, which would take that up to 21. Uh, it's 21 right now because of equipment, which doesn't help me for the purposes of getting the next level of dual wield. Uh, well, ambidexterity, which I need 21 agility for. You can see that's in red right there. Reduces Flurry's cooldown, uh, increases my chance to strike with an offhand weapon. Still no helping hands, either. Nothing meritorious for my back slot. No nylon backpack. We haven't run into a Dromad merchant out here. In some ways, the game has certainly been stingy. Because I didn't take butchering, isn't it? <laughs> That's the problem. Spend my skill points a little smarter. The game is incredibly bitter. Like, you don't get an anchor. You don't get bounding boots. 
We'll eat some potent leech blood and a chip from the horn of a goat folk. Just some random stuff. We don't know how to prepare food. Any meaningful capacity. A banner, huh? Reputation with the tribe. Whatever. Okay. Our river adventure continues. It's definitely getting darker. Should consider putting that helmet on at some point. Hello. There's my level. Some mutation points. Another last iron skin suit. Lacquered a carbide helmet. I, or hammer, excuse me. Certainly have a vested interest in that. We'll put a point into freezing hands. We're going to keep that one mutation point. Just sitting there. Awaiting. Alright. Charging strike could be ours if we had charge. Charge is in tactics, which I just scrolled past. I need 150 points for that. We charge forward two or three squares and perform a melee attack at plus one penetration. Allows us to bypass armor value, and as we bypass armor value, well, we deal more damage with our attacks. Or at the very least, just damn deal damage if we're having trouble hitting it all. Damn, Goatfolk has 12 dodge value. There, dodge this. I see why. Salt Hopper Mandible, huh? Those are pretty nice. If you're into long blades, or if you haven't invested in a particular weapon, uh, 1d10 damage. Not too bad. I like them. Good stuff. Let's drop this banner. Let's drop the sun veils. Please, do not get in my way, peasant. Honey skunk. Not hostile towards me. Uh, they emit uh, acidic clouds that can dissolve areas around them, like walls. And goodies. No. Charred goat folk corpse. We've reached a important location. Got a weird artifact here, a pump shotgun, which is absolutely going to overburden us. We've got a camel bladder, which I don't care enough to pick up. A sheaf of bloodstained goatskin parchment. Now I confer upon myself sovereignty over the artifice of language, that the other may possess sight of the path along which I lead my thralls. Toward Amaranth, O deathless city, whence my cloven hoof children dream themselves the being. Here, Mammon. The Beneficent Father, he who is wrought of his own dream stuff. Amaranth... Amaranthine. Hmm. Amaranthine? Come on, I mean, whatever. It's not like the fucking word exists anyway. Father, dream, bunch of inscrutable ramblings, which is what I do every time I record. Yet feast upon the goat hearts. I'll pick that up. Sounds fun. We're overburdened. Bloody charred goat folk corpses. All that remains is a black and skeletal frame covered in molten glutinous tissue or gluttonous and crumpled on the ground. Great. Right. Sounds wonderful. Fun. Joy to the fucking world. A lovely bridge. You don't have to keep forward the damn river. Cogging your wagon. Good times here. Very good times. Hmm. Scrutinizing my equipment, narrowing my eyes. I'm just gonna jog this up to being tired. Seems like a good point to uh, to stop. Yeah. 
Yeah. Continuing to follow along the riverbank. We've, uh, we're on the right track. We got some, uh, foreboding, ominous text. We've got a quest to complete. We've got a number of quests to complete. But the one we're hunting right now is Mammon Soul Drinker. It's probably for the best if I fight him whenever I'm, uh, less tired and less ill and less sorrowful. Yeah, it sounds good. Serious business fight. Talk to you folks later.